Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we are going to be talking about an alternative to Obsidian Publish. There are few alternatives in the market like Quartz, Flower Soap, Obsidian Jola, Gas by Garden, MKDOX Publisher and Minestone. After using one or two of those alternatives and reviewing all the available options, I have finally decided to stay with Obsidian Digital Garden. And I have already created a digital garden. Here you can see my digital garden with the custom shop domain. And I have not created a lot of things here. I've just published a homepage where there is a link to the recommended books. And this recommended books section is created with the help of data view plugin. And yes, this alternative to Obsidian Publish supports data view. All of your data view queries will show up here in this site. And I have not published a lot of notes. Here are just two notes. And you can see these are uh, my book notes and here is a section for graph view here is a table of contents here are backlinks here you can see the file tree you can just click on here to go to the home page this is really cool this obsidian publish alternative supports most of obsidian features like footnotes highlights links local graphs global graphs backlinks code blocks callouts and more features it also supports plugins like data view and accelerator that's a big plus point because most of the Obsidian published alternatives that I tried do not support data view queries. Another great feature of this Obsidian Digital Garden is that it supports themes. This means you have a good chance of customizing the site to your choice among all the available Obsidian themes. Here are some sites that people have created with the help of this awesome Digital Garden tool. Let us go into one of the sites and see what they are doing. Here's a call out. Here is a table of content and here are links to different notes we can see here is a source bar where we can search for different notes here it's pretty cool right so let's begin this video without any delay where i will guide you through the process of setting up a digital garden just like this to publish your obsidian notes online for free this is a step-by-step -step guide and i want you to follow along so let us begin the video without any delay first thing that you will need to do is create a github account if you don't have one, you can just create it by going to github.com. I already have a GitHub account, so I don't need to create one. After you have created a GitHub account, you will need to create a Barcel account. You can go to barcel.com or search for Barcel in the browser. And you will see there is a first link, barcel.com, P-R-C-E-L.com. And you'll need to create a Barcel account. To create Barcel account, we'll be using the GitHub account that we previously created. So we'll go to continue with GitHub. Once you have created a Barcel account, you need to open the GitHub repository that I'll be linking in the description. You can directly go from there. This is the GitHub repo by Olis Kale. Go down and click on deploy over here. This is the plugin to be used together with Diesel Garden Obsidian plugin. See, so read me in the plugin repo for more information on how to set it up. Now you'll need to click on deploy and this will open Barcel. Now name your repository. Let's just write garden over. I'll just write garden over here. You can choose whether you want to make it private or you want to make it public. I'll be keeping it private here. It will take some time to deploy this project, probably 15 to 30 seconds. You just deployed a new project to Virtual. Congratulations. Continue the dashboard. And this is the project that I deployed. And you will see there is a link garden and there is a lot of words over here. And if I click on it, it will show the project and I will click on this domain and it will take me to the web page garden lemon garden dash lemon dot app there is nothing here we have created a site now what we need to do is learn how to publish our obsidian nodes or how to put our obsidian nodes over here over this site for that we will need the obsidian digital garden plugin let me go to my obsidian vault instead of going to my original vault i will create a new vault where i have not done anything so that i can show you from the beginning what to do First, you will need to install the plugin Digital Garden. For that, you will need to go to Settings, come to Plugins and search for Digital Garden over here. And it is recently updated 8 days ago. Digital Garden by Oli Skilled Stenson. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Sorry if I did it wrong. Click on Install, click on Enable and go to Options. Now, here are a few things that you need to do. First is you need to put the GitHub repo name. GitHub repo name is the name that we added when we were deploying our project in Barcel. We can see that by going to our GitHub account, 
if you go to github account there will be a new repo and this is the new repo that i have created recently updated 2 minutes ago this is the name that you need to put there github repo name is garden and you will need to put github username over here and i'll write that over here now you will need to create a github token with repo permissions you can generate it here you can just click on this link and it will take you to the place where you can create new tokens i'll just log in over here just name it for garden this is garden i'll just write garden you can choose the expiration date i will just choose 7 days and this token will expire after 7 days but if you don't want the hassle of creating a new token after 7 days or 30 days you can set to no expiration and you will have to enable these options and click on generate token you will have the token just copy it from here and add it on this field now we have added github token here are few settings that we will check later on first let us add some nodes to our digital garden how do we do that let us create a home page for our digital garden first let's write it digital garden home page let's set this page as the home page for our digital garden to do that we will need to add a property to our node that is dg dash home and we'll set it to true because the property type is checkbox we can just tick it and it will be set as home page now we need to add another property that is dg publish and the property type is same again checkbox we need to check it now this page will be set as home page for our digital garden and only the nodes with the property dg publish true set to true will be published to your world this is very useful because when you are publishing online it prevents you from publishing all of your nodes it lets you decide what nodes you want to publish online or what nodes you want to add to your digital garden only nodes that have the property dg publish to true will be published to your digital garden online so this is a really cool feature because it ensures that your garden only has nodes that you want to be published not your entire world let me write something here this is the home page for my vault now how do you publish your vault for that you can just go to your command palette control p and search for publish right now we only have a single node so i'll just click on publish single node and it says here successfully published node to your garden if i go to my site created with vorsel let me refresh it over here and you can see the digital garden is updated this is the home page for my vault let me add few more info over here let me create a data view table data view table from readwise folder and i can see there are 89 files let me publish it again pop the single node and it will take some time to show the changes inside this site inside your digital garden because the file first needs to be published to your github repository then the project needs to be deployed by vorsel but i like uh, that it is super fast the digital garden this tool is super fast when it comes to deploying you can see how fast the node is updated over here and data view is working properly let me publish few other nodes as well i'll open this node again and set the property dg to true set the property dg publish to true set the property dg publish to true for these three files okay you can again go to command palette and choose publish multiple nodes and you can see here is processing multiple files publishing three nodes because we added the dg publish status to three nodes over here discipline equals freedom how not to die and the hard things about hard things let me go back to this site my digital garden let me refresh it and you can see the node is updated over here if i open it all of the highlights from kindle which are synced to my obsidian vault through readwise are in my digital garden so all of the nodes that were in my vault are published inside this digital garden this looks simple and minimalistic how do you add more features for that you can go to the plugins options and you can see there is an option for features global node setting you can see these are many options so home link that is on the top left so local graph i will enable all the options so backlinks so table of contents so inline title so file tree sidebar file tree sidebar means just like the file explorer we have on obsidian 
it will be present in our obsidian garden as well obsidian digital garden as well enable sorts enable link preview will enable the option to sort tags be aware that this could break site so i will not enable this option right now once you have enabled all the options it will take some time before the deployment and you can go to the site and refresh and you can see here we have got the graph view we have got the table of content we have got the file tree we have got the link preview this is really cool if you click on any node that is not published then it will take you to this error page there is nothing here if you got here from link this node is probably not made public and you can simply go back to home page right from here and another options that i told you was the ability to customize theme you can see there is an option in the appearance where you can choose the theme that you want let's say i choose the obsidian node theme over here uh, and i can also choose the uh, base theme whether you want it light or dark i just choose light for example you can choose the favi favi icon this needs to be saved inside your vault and here are a few other settings that you might want to tweak a bit after you have changed the settings you can just click on apply settings to site successfully applied setting it will say successfully applied settings and it will again take some time maybe a half a minute before the changes show up in your site and here we have changed our theme to obsidian node we have got light theme over here and it is not properly working you can see what theme works perfectly for you by experimenting with different themes here is another option to add base url this is optional but recommended it is used for generating a site map for better seo so you might want to add the base url over here that's all this is how you publish your obsidian notes online for free without using obsidian publish which might cost you around or 10 dollars after the changes in the price recently you just need to follow every step that i have told you you first need to create a github account then you need to create a barcel account then you need to deploy the repo woods link i have provided you in the description after that you will need to install the plugin obsidian digital garden in your vault and you'll need to create ss token for github you'll need to add your credentials over the plugin settings and then when you want to publish a node you can add a property to that node for example if i want to publish this node the cure to mediocre life i just need to add a property dg publish let it be true and go to command palette search for publish if you have edited multiple nodes you can click on publish multiple nodes if you have not you can just click on publish single node i'll just click on publish single node and it will be successfully published to your garden and after that you can just go to your garden and wait for half a minute and the changes will be synced over there you can see here the cure to mediocre life is published on my digital garden so this is all for this video i hope you found this video helpful and this video helps you in certain way to set up a digital garden and to publish your obsidian notes online for free thank you for watching this video have a great time